hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i will show you the process of editing and how to properly process the photo let's get started if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications at first ctrl or command j you will get a copy of this layer and then go to the filter camera filter so i do like to use the camera filter just because of this one is the plugins of the photoshop creative cloud and cs version as well and uh, you're getting all the panels like light rooms and uh, like uh, all the things in uh, in your hand properly so in this panel you are getting here the hand tool the uh, like uh, here is the white balance tool if you press over here it will fix up your white balance or photo white balance and here a spot healing brush tool and the brush tool all the things are here and i'm using the hand tool over here from here uh, i'll decrease the highlight just because of in this photo too much highlight in uh, or left side actually here blacks i'll make it down and the vibrance that is the mid tone and saturation i'll increase and after that i'll go to the effects options from here i'll add some vignetting like this a little bit minus three or four and from here here is the gradient filter or gratitude filter and i'll increase or i'll just give the layer like that decrease the lights like this so you can rotate these things or you can just move it out I'm using like that that's good and then go to the hand tool again now let's see the before and after and now I'll change up all the things from here I'll add some shadow give some uh, like a dehaze like that and the clarity a little bit not too much and the texture that's good from here uh, the tone curve i'll go to the blue tone curve and i'll make the blue like that and from here i'll do like that okay and then the green tone curve i'll give some little bit color like this follow my steps what i'm doing over here so from here increasing the lights and here i lock up over here and increase the grama it will give you the grama like that that's good and now go to the split toning the shadow and highlight color what will be the shadow color and what will be the highlight color so i'm giving some saturation and adding like that nice and the shadow portion i'm finding the color which one is perfect for this okay and here that's good and then the camera calibration or calibration from here i'm just giving the color like this okay the green color yeah and here i'll increase the blue primary color you can make it a little bit like that and now most important thing hsl panel so here i want to give the green color like this that's good and the hue that's good and the luminance increased and now i'll go to the yellow color yellow color hue will be like this and the saturation a little bit up and luminance a little bit up and now the exposure a little bit down and the dehaze portion and blacks increase the whites a little bit that's good and now uh I have to change up the split toning just because of I changed up some colors from here and need some shadow in this portion so that's good yeah nice and again I'll go to the HSL panel and other uh, colors like uh, saturation I'll increase uh, like 5% here 5 5 and the 5% and the luminance I'll increase uh, like 12% uh, like this and like this the hue i'll make the hue change so minus nine and minus nine minus nine and minus nine so it will uh, affects your photo so before one and after one you're getting the changes huge changes you are just looking over here so from here you are getting uh, too much uh, like uh, over here some portion is spoiled so these things are these things are this portion saturation 
so go to the highlight and a little bit up the highlight so yeah that's good before and after nice and now i'm saving this preset and saving that preset for you guys and provide you that preset in my video description for the download link please check it out so here today's date and giving the name city boy or boy and hit the ok button before one and after one and now i'll add another preset and light and other steps so the light is coming from here so if i increase or if i add a light over here it will be neutralized so take another blank layer and go to this portion and take the color from the face just because of the light and face color will be same and from here go to the brush tool and increase the brush size a little bit up and select once before that you have to check the flow and opacity okay that that's fine and make the blending mode into screen that's good and press ctrl or command t and make it bigger so like this that's good and press ctrl or command j okay and i'll use another warm color so i'm taking another blank layer and uh, like this color okay again brush tool b from the keyboard and go to the blending mode into screen that's good press ctrl or command t increase the lights okay changing the place okay and then go to the levels from here change up the like yeah clarity and other stuffs that's good let's see the before and after now we'll select all the things like all the layers and make it on vertically smart object now we'll apply another uh, filter from the nick collection go to the filter nick collection and color effects pro 4 this one is another plugins in the photoshop if you want to get the download link please check out my video description here are a bunch of preset and preset packs you can use one of them i'm using here the cross processing this one and lots of method over here which one is perfect for your photographs i don't know and in this case i will find out the perfect one which is the this one is good for this photo and here is the options to change the strength if you need and hit the ok button it will take time to load it up and provide you the final output and after finalize that things will uh, adjust other things so go to the adjustment layer and go to the gradient map from here choose a gradient map which is like that and change up the color i'm just making it blue type and hit ok and i'll make it like yellow type or like this and hit ok hit ok and after that go to the blending mode and find out the best way so i'm using the soft light and making the fill color like this if you need you can adjust the opacity and other stuffs and after that you are getting like this so if i consider the photo which one was the before the faded photo and you're getting the nice effect how to make it out so if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and if you want to get the download link or the preset download link and the other stuff please check out my video description until the next video i am asmr signing out today stay at home stay safe and bye bye